Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for, you know, the upcoming energy. So whenever it resonates, we're just going to see what comes up. So what do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For an update. Frying pan. Trouble. Accusations. You're going to be dealing with some trouble. There's some accusations that are happening in the near future. This is my second Taurus reading. I tried to do one a minute ago. Well, a little while ago, but I got an interruption, a phone call that I had to take. So you may be receiving a phone call that you have to take. Um, I, we had BAT, which was... Um, unexpected problems there's gonna enemy disguised as a friend that's what i think it said it said enemy disguised as a friend hidden enemies you have some hidden enemies and then we had shield in this deck which was uh oh, you need to defend yourself you need to protect yourself so and now we have trouble accusations so there's i don't know if it's you're dealing with somebody that is in trouble could be because I, I saw something to do with children. I also saw something to do with family and friends, okay? I also saw a change in a living situation. So somebody is in, in their struggle, there's, there's really a struggle with changing the living situation. So however that resonates with you, um, I feel as though there's a, and we had 555, five, five, so um, in this deck, there it is. There's the change in living situation on the bottom. Uh, that's what you had. You had change in living situation. Um, you also had act now, think later. So there's some sort of action that needs to be taken. Um, you had fantasy land. I, you could be dealing with somebody that is in fantasy land. Um, you know, delusional. Okay. Um, five, five, five. 555 five, five. expect the unexpected that's a major life change your life is changing um i do feel like there's disillusionment because we had the sun reversed as well so i'm not sure if you're dealing with a child or children that are causing you problems there's some sort of bad timing here we also had the lovers in that other deck which was an unexpected choice in love but I think it's some sort of bad timing because there's there's family there's a family situation going on or there's a need to change residence. We had the Eight of Swords as well, which was struggling, uh, mental turmoil in a place of fear, needing to step outside, needing to replace your fear with faith and step outside of your comfort zone. I feel like you're struggling with some sort of major life change right now. It might have to do with a partnership that you are in. Um, I did have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, which was a uh, family situation, short-lived success. You, I don't know if, you, if, if uh, somebody has moved into somebody's home and there's no success there and there's a need to change residence, but, you know, it's stable, so there's stability situation. Or there could be a partner because we had new love on this deck. In, the, in this deck, we had a new love. Um, so there's a new love that has stirred your romantic feelings. And that could be what's causing the strife in regards to the home front. So I think you're in a situation, you may be in a situation now that is unrequited love. And you need to get out of it, but you're stuck, you know. Or you're dealing with a partner that is in an unrequited love situation. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So I think that you probably have to make a choice. You need to take action right now. Um, but anyway, let's, let's get one of these. What do we have for Taurus? What? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. I can't make it up even if I tried. Okay. There is a new love that is entering your life or it has entered your life. Okay. It probably already has. 
by the looks of things. So you're struggling. Oh, oh, and I knew it. I knew it. Planning a move. This has to do with a move. What are you going to do? And I think the struggle is real. What are you going to do? So this has to do with moving. Who's going to move, right? If that's the case. So that may be where the struggle is at. Something about the home front. So there is a new love that has entered your life or is entering your life. And the struggle is real in regards to the residence where you live or something like that. So let's get one of these now during this reading and see what comes up. What do we have for Taurus? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So I'm not sure if you're going to be taking a vacation with somebody. This doesn't, you could be getting married. Uh, you could be meeting somebody that you're going to get married to. This could lead to a honeymoon. Or you may be taking a little vacation with somebody. Um, getting to know somebody a little bit more. Um, enjoying some time together with somebody. But there is some sort of trouble here because of the frying pan, the bat, and the shield. So there's, some, there's something going on. There's some sort of enemies that are working against you. Um, so what do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? Could have to do with children. It could definitely have to do with children or friends that are gossiping that aren't really your friends. You definitely have some enemies that are disguised as friends, so you need to be very careful. I know my hair is a mess, but I don't care. Um... Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is a choice. It is a realignment. Um, going back and forth. Uh, handling a lot right now. I think that you're going through a lot. You're going through a lot of changes in your life. You're handling it very well. Things may seem a little chaotic. You may have a lot on your plate. There's our Eight of Swords. That, we, that was the first card out in the other reading for this deck. This is held back by fear, mental turmoil, uh, needing to step outside of your comfort zone. So I think that you're in a situation where you're feeling trapped or you're feeling stuck. Um... It's safe. You're, you, maybe you're playing it safe, you know. You need to really step outside of your comfort zone. I feel like you need to escape a situation and you, and you really need to escape. It's like you need to get out of this situation. You may be in some situation that feels like it's prison or you're just overwhelmed with your thoughts or you're overwhelmed with fear of change. I do definitely feel like there's a new love here. I'm pretty positive that there is, and it's causing you some sort of mental turmoil. Knight of Cups. A Knight of Cups. So that is looking for love, somebody that is looking for a relationship. This is somebody that is making an approach. This is a lover. This is a romantic. This is... Uh, somebody that's looking for love, looking for a relationship. Open your heart. Um, there's some sort of admirer here that, I don't know if it's falling in love. Six of Pentacles, upright. So Six of Pentacles is receiving, receiving love, getting what you deserve. You're going to be getting something. You are. It feels like you're receiving and you're struggling. I feel like you're struggling with, with demands. You're struggling with choosing. You know, do you have time for a relationship? There's a need to balance with both the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So you may need to balance work with a relationship. Maybe that's where the struggle's at. I believe you're going to be receiving an offer, but there will be a need to uh, be flexible. I think you need to be flexible. You're going to need to adapt to some changes that are happening during this time. Ooh, now we got the lovers reversed. Upright. In the other reading, it was upright. So this is, uh, well, you can't have both with the two of pentacles. You can, you can, there's a struggle here. Struggle over, struggling over a separation, struggling over a partnership, struggling over, you know, a union. There's some sort of, oh, 
separation that is needed so that you can get what you deserve. So the lovers is right below the six of pentacles. For you to receive, receive the love that you deserve or the partnership what that you deserve, you're going to have to stop going back and forth. You know, there's juggling. That, that two of pentacles is juggling or resisting change. It's like trying to do too much. You may, you could lose a partnership if you don't balance, if you don't follow your heart, if you don't open your heart. You have to open your heart. With that eight of swords, that's held back by fear. That's, stay, that's restricting yourself, confining yourself, not opening up. I mean, you have to open up. You have to open up your heart if you want this partnership. You have, There's give and take that is needed, definitely. So I feel like you... Um, are, are gonna need to give to receive and I feel like you want a relationship you know you want this love connection and I do feel like it's a deep love connection like I said in the other reading see how deep it is this is a this is like an angel that had this is our I think it's Archangel or Archangel I don't care how you say it you can say it either way uh, Raphael bringing two people together this is a this is a perfect match we have a dark-haired person a dark-haired man and a blonde-haired woman. Um, does it could go vice versa? But this is like uh, struggling with a connection. I do feel like there's a deep connection here that you could lose. It's like you could lose this connection if you don't make a choice. Because the Two of Pentacles is about choice. It's okay. It's about it's about it's profit and a loss. Okay, and is you get what I'm saying? You know what? And so isn't the Six of Pentacles if you want to look at it that way. Okay, it's a profit and a loss. Okay, you could you can't have both. Okay, you have to make some sort of choice. Do you want a relationship or not? So I think that you have a new love that has entered your life and you're going to need to balance, okay? You're going to need to balance out, you know, what you really want. What do you want? What do you want? So anyhow, maybe maybe you are receiving an offer to go on a holiday with somebody, go on a vacation with somebody, or you need to or something like that, and you don't have enough time. You may need to adapt. You may need to be more flexible. You just need to make a change in some way. Um... I feel like there could be a separation here as well for some of you. You may need to separate from a false contract to get the love that you deserve. You have to make a change. The Two of Pentacles is a realignment. You're being aligned with something that will be emotionally fulfilling that will be where there will be reciprocation, where there will be equality, where, there, where you're not just getting crumbs, you know. You'll be, you're being realigned with something that... Uh, where you will receive, okay? Where you will receive emotional support. Where you will receive love. But you could lose this opportunity if you don't make a change. Ten of Cups in the upright, which is happily ever after. This is a spiritual blessing. This is fulfillment. Look at the doves. I mean, doves are a symbol of love in romance. So I think that you have an opportunity for happiness. Ah, and there's probably love really close by. This could be a new love. This is new opportunities for love. A new beginning here. It is messages of love. You have somebody that is looking for a relationship that is very that is admiring you, that wants to that wants to have a relationship with you. Um, but I feel like you've got too much going on and, and you, this could be a horrendous loss. The Wheel of Fortune reverse is a shocking, unpredictable loss. Um, I feel like you really need to open your heart and, uh, act now, think later, like that card said. Um, you're going to have to make a choice is what's most important to you. What do you want? What do you want in your life? Um, you're going to be receiving a message from somebody um, that, I don't know, so you, I think there's going to be some flirting going on. There's going to be some, um, I don't know if there's f more feelings. There's a lot of feelings here. There is a lot of feelings being expressed. There's an arrival here. Somebody has arrived. They have arrived, and this is this is like... I don't know if you're love struck or what.
sorry. Six of Wands, victory. That is victory. That is success. That is a yes answer. That is things progressing towards happiness. Heading in the right direction. We have six, we have six, six, six. The journey to balance and harmony. That is getting your life back on track, getting what you deserve, the happiness that you deserve. This is a yes answer. This is a hero. It is, and I feel like there is somebody that is, is entering your life that is very noble, that is very, um, that is looking for a relationship. This person is trustworthy. They fought a lot of battles. This is a fighter. This is somebody that has life experience. They want happiness. They, they have a lot to offer you. There is somebody that has a lot to offer you here, but you're going to need to separate from something. It's a false contract. You have to separate because that lover's reverse is a false contract. There's consequences with the lover's reverse. There's consequences if you don't give because there needs to be equal give and take. So I feel like there's somebody around you that wants to have a relationship with you, but you need to give to them. You need to give them so that they'll give to you. You know, it takes two. It takes two. You could be dealing with another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person and you have a lot in common, okay? They have a lot in common. This person is a hard worker. They are stable. They have built up their own empire. This is somebody that... Uh, is very uh, nurturing, experienced stable solid secure they have a lot to offer you and i feel like i feel like you have a lot to offer them <laughs> i feel like there's feelings that are going to be deepening with this new person that has entered your life I don't know if there's, I was going to say, I don't know if this leads to marriage or what. I'm sorry, I have a drink. It's Dive Sprite. <coughs> Two of Cups. That is a union. It is a potential soulmate. This is very compatible. This is love. Falling in love. I think we talked about this before. This is victory. This is this is uh, headed in the right direction towards happiness. But you have to make a choice. The first card out is a two, which is choices and it's changes. And listen to your intuition. Follow your intuition. What is this trouble? Accusations. You may be traveling with somebody as well. Taking a little vacation with somebody or a little trip with somebody. Six of Wands is this is this is like a savior. It's a hero. This is somebody that is a leader. This is a leader. This person uh, doesn't quit. They don't quit. This is not a quitter. This is somebody that is highly respected that you are dealing with. But anyway, let's talk about this trouble accusations. What is this? And why do you need to protect yourself? Because you have an enemy. You do have an enemy or enemies disguised as friends. They're jealous. What the hell are they jealous of? Your success? Queen of Swords reverse. You got a bitch around you, a real bitch. Oh boy. So the Queen of Swords reverse. Somebody is, this is a liar. This is somebody that doesn't tell the truth. And it could be any sign. And bitch can be a male as well. You got somebody around you that is lying. They are going to cause you some trouble. This is somebody that is jealous. 
they are jealous or they they're lying about something they're not telling the truth if they're not jealous this is just a liar who is hiding something male or female this person is dishonest they're malicious vindictive This person is going to cause you trouble with your relationship. It's a male or a female, I feel. And this, this person is uh, a troublemaker. This person is a troublemaker. They lie. They, they are going to accuse you of something. They're going to cause trouble. This person is jealous. It could be an ex. Definitely moving. Now we have another six. This is moving, moving. Somebody is moving. They're moving. Traveling, traveling, going on a trip. You may be traveling or moving or somebody could be moving towards you. You could be moving towards them. I do see a move here. There is some trouble that is coming. Somebody is about to cause some trouble. Could also be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person um, doesn't communicate well. They do not have good intentions. Uh, very, very wishy-washy. Uses emotional blackmail. This person may try to, uh, I don't know, I think we have somebody here that is breaking the law. I feel like this is a law breaker. Could, again, now we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again. I don't know if you're, you're dealing with somebody that is insecure. They are unstable. They may see that you're leaving and they may cause you some trouble. But I do feel like you are up against a bitch, okay? And I, I wouldn't be sure to mess with this person because this person is, uh, and if it's not you, it could be the other person. There is somebody here that is not to be messed with, just saying. somebody has been lying they have not been telling the truth the truth is going to come out they may try to pinpoint something you know and they may be trying to hide something they're lying about something that's where those trouble and accusations come from there's some sort of revenge here or vindictiveness or lies nine of swords nine of swords is uh very very worried despair we have somebody here that is is uh in a state of despair they are worried having a hard time sleeping what are they worried about worried about uh opening their heart worried about getting hurt again because they were hurt so badly by somebody in the past it's an ex Anyhow, I get, keep getting this page of cups. So there's there's love here. There's an offer of love. There's a good news coming. This is a welcome message. This is this is being this is an opportunity for love. You have an opportunity for love here with somebody that you probably will have or do have a deep, deep, deep connection with. But you're going to have to separate from a false contract to get what you deserve. And when you separate there's going to be pissiness. Good luck.